welcome to a lesson on elapsed time. My name is Tick, and this is my grandfather, Tuck. Why, hello there. Before we get started, I have a quick question for you. Why did the clock get sent to the principal's office? It was talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grandfather. Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes between one time and another. Let's say it's 3.05 p.m. and then 50 minutes pass by. It's now 3.55 p.m. The 50 minutes that passed by is the elapsed time. One way to figure out elapsed time is to use a timeline. Let's try it on this problem. Janet started her homework at 6.20 p.m. She finished it at 8.05 p.m. How long did she take to do her homework? Well, we know she started at 6.20 and ended at 8.05. If we start at 6.20 and jump an hour, we will get 7.20. Then we can jump 40 minutes to get to 8 o'clock, and then another 5 minutes to finish at 8.05. In total, we have gone 1 hour plus 40 minutes plus 5 minutes, which adds up to 1 hour and 45 minutes, which is our answer. Let's try one that we have to work backwards for. It takes one hour and 45 minutes for Tom to travel from home to his office. If he wants to arrive at his office at 8.30 a.m., what time should he leave home? In this problem, we know that we want to end at 8.30. So if we go backwards one hour, it will be 7.30. Then back 30 minutes would take us to 7 o'clock. And 15 more minutes will take us to 6.45. So our answer is 6.45 a.m. Let's check out another method for solving elapsed time problems. Maria went to her horseback riding lesson at 4.20 p.m. Her lesson ended at 6.15 p.m. How long was Maria's horseback riding lesson? I like to call this the Z method. I make a giant Z. Start at the starting time, 4.20. I need to get to the next hour. That would be 5 o'clock, and it would take me 40 minutes. Then, I want to see how many hours it will take me to get as close as I can to the ending time. Well, to get to 6 o'clock, it will take 1 hour. And then, to get to the ending time, 6.15, it will take 15 minutes. That's a total of 1 hour and 55 minutes, which is our answer. Thanks for exploring elapsed time with me. Wait, before you go, what does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back four seconds. <laughs> <laughs>